Hi, and welcome to another edition of Quarantine Corner. Christmas, Christmas edition. edition. I'm Paul. And I'm Mary June. And on our Halloween video, we told you about how we downsized our decorations inside and out. Since we weren't having a Halloween party and we weren't sure how much trick-or-treaters we would have, we decided to scale back our decorating. But for Christmas, we decorated as usual. We, we held nothing back. Even though we're not having any Christmas parties, we decorated as we normally do because we love Christmas. So join us and let's take a look at our Christmas house. This is our new carrot wood tree. It was planted on my birthday in 2017. It's been growing like crazy, so it's finally big enough that we can decorate it. This is our magnolia tree. It's been here practically since the house was built. Let's check it out at night. This is our garage in the daytime. Now let's take a look at it at night. This is our festive porch. If it weren't for COVID, it would be welcoming guests to our Christmas parties. And here is our porch at night. And here's the entire house decked out in bright white and blue lights. This is the entryway to our house. And when you come in, you're greeted by reindeer, Christmas trees, and many Santa Clauses and poinsettias. And above that is our staircase, which has many of our festive friends. Now over here on the hall tree, we have this wonderful set of Christmas carols that we got many years ago from Sears. But new this year is this old turn of the century lamp post that we got at Rogers Gardens that matches it perfectly. And over here, we have our Christmas moose. And he is great for putting our Christmas hats and necklaces on. And this is our snowman family. One for each of us, Paul, Mary June, and Katie. This is the entryway to our living room. And as you can see, it's guarded by these wonderful nutcrackers. Now in our living room are many special things. One of them is this wonderful Christmas basket that we got at St. Bonaventure Christmas Boutique many, many years ago. Another one of our favorites is our metal sculpture nativity scene that we got at Pier 1 the year before last. We had to go to two different stores to complete the set. And once we completed the set and brought it home, it matched a tablecloth that we'd had for years perfectly. Last year, we shared this with Sister Carmel and took this and some other decor and decorated her room to right in her Christmas. This is my mantle masterpiece. And this is decorated from Christmas tree branches that I get at Home Depot and Lowe's. And I've decorated with lights and ornaments and pine cones and Christmas trees and these wonderful glittery branches. And this whole thing takes me a little over two and a half hours to do every year. But I think it's worth it. And right below it is this wonderful fireplace screen that we got at Times Treasures Boutique many, many years ago. Very unique, very hard to find, and it's one of our favorite Christmas decorations. So this is our Peanuts gag collection. This is where we have all our Snoopies and Charlie Brown and Lices and everything. So the question you might ask is why do we have so many Snoopies? Well check out this Snoopy dance. So here is the rest of our Peanuts collection, along with some other Christmas items. And in the center, we have our nativity that we got from Hallmark, with the words on the bottom of each statue filling out the story of Christmas that Linus tells everybody from Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. And over here is our Santa Christmas bag that we use to carry all the gifts on Christmas morning. This table has some more of our favorite decorations, including this porcelain Santa that my mom gave us years ago when we first got married. Above the dining room table is a chandelier and is decorated in traditional red and green. And below it, as a centerpiece of the table, is the largest nativity scene that we have. And it was given to us by my mom, and it's very special to us. This is the light in the kitchen, and it's decorated with these angels that we got from the Hope Office Christmas tree. Kay suggested that we decorate it with white and gold to match the angels. 
and below it is an advent wreath that has a nativity scene in the middle. And I got that idea from Mrs. Mullen when I saw it in one of her classrooms. This is the Christmas village that we have, and over the years I've added things like trees and a skating rink and a Christmas tree farm, and uh, this is what it's evolved into. Every year we get a real noble for a Christmas tree, and as you can see, it's decorated with a variety of different ornaments. Every year since 2014, we've chosen a different personalized ornament for the Christmas tree. Behind me, you see something very special. These lighted Christmas tree pillows that I got from the JCPenney Home Store many years ago. In fact, I liked them so much, I went back the next day when they were on sale and I bought them all out. Here's a TV in the family room and below it are a collection of Hallmark animated Christmas plush figures. I'll show you my favorite one right now. And this is the one that we got this year. And above the TV is a country Christmas scene that I created using that centerpiece that had no decorations or lights on it at all. And from there, I built it out to this. This is the coffee table and it's decorated with snowmen and Santa Clauses and Christmas trees. And at the very end, a very beautiful nativity scene. This is the end table in the family room and it's decorated with a Christmas Santa scene. And as you can see, the lamp is decorated as well. So this year we've added this wonderful Linus dressed up in his shepherd's costume for a Peanuts collection. Now he's part of my favorite holiday movie, which of course is a Charlie Brown Christmas. Now my favorite part of that movie is when Linus comes up on stage, reminds Charlie Brown and really everyone else what Christmas is really all about. So let's listen to a little bit of that. For behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which will lead you all people, earth, peace, goodwill to all men. That's what Christmas is all about. That's right, that's what Christmas is really all about. It's about the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So from our family to yours, I wish you a blessed holiday season. Happy New Year. And, and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! I love you. You really do my best.